I'm Beach Billy. And I'm Danny. And we are now gonna be going through troubleshooting your TT15 and T5 collars. So we're gonna go through some quick issues that you may have, things to look at on your collar, what you do to send it back. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the red light that stays on when you're charging. We get that phone call a lot. Most of the time it's pretty simple to fix. Uh, run your collars dead periodically. Um, it, the guys that are using them four or five hours, going back, charging them each time, the batteries do get a type of memory. They're lithium batteries. Um, without getting an argument, they're, what'll happen is if you keep charging them at a certain point, they will get to where they do not want to finish off getting a full charge. But if you drain them, what's so nice with the lithium versus the old type, run them dead two or three times, and typically that fixes that problem. Um, so it does not hurt if the red light's on either because the collars, kind of like charging a car battery, it goes into a trickle charge at the very end of the cycle. So it's not overcharging your battery or it's not doing that if the light doesn't turn green. It's just basically not making it to 100%. It's staying on 99 or 98 so it really isn't hurting anything if it does stay on. And if the red light isn't staying on, but it is blinking, then there's another issue with your collar. Yes, now a blinking red light, bad. Yeah, it's so, not a good thing. Yeah, most of the time it's an issue with the collar. Periodically, it's where your terminals have gotten dirty and always make sure and look at your charging clip good too. There's four, four or five little pins um, that stick and actually touch the terminals right here on your so if those get dirty or get a wax from a dog on them, um, that can also do to where when you first clip it up, it's just not getting a good connection, you'll get a flashing light. That's fine. It's now if you've got everything clean and you keep getting a flashing light when you hook it up, then more than likely there's something more serious in the collar. Updating the collar on web updater. Uh, for the most part, we have found that updating your collars um, then we end up with more trouble out of updating collars than not. Do not do it. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> if, we, if it's not broke, don't fix it with the collars is, is what we recommend. Uh, the only time we do recommend you doing an update on the collar is if you are having trouble with it. If, if there's whatever. been a major change. Um, the truth is, it seems like updates, we've had a lot of issues updating collars with time, and I don't know if it goes back to the connection but we've never seen any great updates or great things that have happened updating the collars. We've seen probably more harsh than we have good. Now I'm saying that there's also some really nice updates that are in these collars now. Uh, one of the new ones that they do have in here, which is really nice, it used to be if they went into a rescue mode, that collar would stay on a two minute update until you manually went in and changed it. Now the collars will go back to a two and a half second update when you recharge your collar. So, you know, it's happened to me multiple times in the past when you drop a dog and next thing you know, you're barely tracking him. It's a straight line to here and a straight line to here and you're sitting there going, ah, I'm, not, I'm tracking the car. And that's what had happened is where the collar had gone into a rescue mode that I don't even know how it got into. And so I manually had to go back in and change it two minutes. So if you do update your collars, that is one of the big things it fixes. Really, the only other big updates the collar we're not even talking about here is the 50s. When they came out, you had to update a 50 to work on the new 430s. So, and you had to update a TT15 collar to work on the really old handhelds that used to be with the TT10s, which I actually got one of those phone calls the other day. It's been four or five years, and that was the first thing I asked him because his 15 collars were tracking horrible, and sure enough, he hadn't updated it since he got it five or six years ago. So do know that, that if you've got a really old alpha handheld, it might have to be updated before it tracks one of the new 15s. So pretty simple. Let's get into the big thing with the TT15s and T5 collars, and that's no GPS signal. Yes. All right. This is by far the biggest issue we've had with TT15 collars, less the T5s. I'll really say that the T5s, I think they got the problem corrected a little more in the past. Um, I don't know if it's... 15s have been an issue, so we'll start. There's not, it's, it's pretty easy. Okay, if the collar's not getting GPS signal, it's not going to work. Basically, on all your TT15 collars, and we've got a couple of our warranty collars here. So, if you look here, the actual collar itself, you can see where the rubber has been corroded or broke, and it's got a little wire that's holding this on. Well, if that wire inside breaks, that wire's like a little cable wire, it's got a shielded cable and it's got a very small stranded pin wire that runs up through it. If that gets stretched, pulled, yanked, if that wire breaks in the middle, these collars will no longer work. So in saying that, you can see where 
we had talked about earlier, the change in the generation of collars, that's a first generation collar. You can see how that rubber is just absolutely falling apart. Um, this is actually a second generation, but this was also ripped. The rubber itself looks pretty good. You can see where the collar actually got. I don't know if it was, it could have been a hog, it could have been a multitude of things, but you can see where it actually ripped it at the base and there's a gap. So, but if this wire does get broke, these collars no longer work. That is the biggest problem we have with the TT-15. With, with the TT-15. So in saying that, it's very important. Tell people not to grab the dogs by the collars when they're Absolutely. loading them in the box. Um, don't hook your leashes onto those collars. There's a reason that they do not have um, D-rings on them. So if the wire isn't broke, there also is the possibility that it can just be something internal. These collars, they memorize the satellites. It can have to where it's trying to read two or three satellites that aren't working. Um, so that is when you would go in. The, we always recommend first trying a hard and soft restart. A soft is the easiest. All you do is hold a power button down. And for, it's going to probably be about 15 seconds. And you're going to actually see it'll be a red light. And then that cut, as soon as the light goes out, you have done a soft restart on this collar. Helps clean it out. Um, and it'll basically make it to where, you know, it, it's, it's helping load the memory back up. You take it back outside and let it restart. Now, if that doesn't work, you can also do a hard start. And what you do is you would actually hook it to your computer. You're going to hook it to your clip and you're going to hit the power button. It's like four times. So you're going to hear it click. You're going to hear it make a noise. You've never heard it. When you're hitting the button, it'll click, 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 click. Makes a funny noise, light goes green, light changes red, and then it, or yeah, then it's gonna go back to red mm -hmm. and it's done. That completely cleans it out. That's more like the day you bought it. So what that's gonna do is make it completely restart. A lot of times you even when you do that, you actually have to go in and you'll have to put it back in your box. So take it out of your box, put it back in. Um, you can also, if you have interference with another collar, we recommend changing the ID. Sometimes when you do that, it fixes it. You know, with having lots of dogs in these different clubs and multiple things, interference is always an issue, especially with our customers. Right. Um, so anytime you do, we always recommend first, just trying to get any interference out of it. And that's a way you can go in and make sure that the satellites and everything it's reading is good. Uh, if that doesn't work, that's what warranties are for. You know, that's what give us a call. Um, last really is updating your collar and it's pretty simple. Um, you hook it to the same clip like he just did. It's got to be hooked to your computer. Uh, you have to use a regular computer. You've got to use a, yeah, you can't, yeah, no Mac. You cannot use an Apple computer. That's uh, for whatever reason. They have never worked good with charging, uh, up, up doing these collars, um, updating them. So if you do update a collar, you hook it to the computer. You're going to go to Garmin's free web updater. We also have the link on our website, Outdoor Dog Supply. Go to updating, web updater, and it's a little bit of a slow process. Make sure everything's clicked, but web updater will recognize your collar and just follow the instructions. So It'll update. Step-by-step -step help on the bottom of any page yep. on our website. So if, as they do good ads or different things, you know, you, you, we don't always recommend unless you really have problems, but if you do have to update it or you are having problems, then that is how you do it. What Anything about collars and freezing weather? I mean... Uh, oh, okay, yes. When you're charging collars, uh, it's very important to know that if it's under, it's pretty much about under freezing. Anywhere in that, your collars will quit charging. So if you're up there at the hot club and it's in 10 degree weather and you leave them in the shed outside charging, there's a good chance when you go get them in the morning, they're not gonna be charged. <laughs> Uh, if long as they're charged, it doesn't hurt anything, but you're going to go out and have a bunch of flashing collars. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're down here a little further in the South. It doesn't happen to us often. So we don't remember, but always try to charge your collar somewhere where, you know, it's going to stay, you know, typically above 50 degrees. Absolutely. You know, like I said, we do trade in, just know that with these broken or, you know, we take broken collars in for trade for new any of our customers or you have the option we match what Garmin does and refurbish them and typically you can have your collars back in just a couple days um, as far as cost it's normally only about $30 more to trade up to new than it is at whatever the refurbish price from Garmin at that time and you get that year warranty versus that 90 day warranty yeah and you're getting a full warranty back versus a partial warranty you get with a factory refurbishment all right thank you
Thanks.